In this session we're going to look at getting an operating system for our Raspberry Pi. To do this what we need to do is head off to the raspberrypi.org. If you click on the downloads tab you'll be able to get a copy of an operating system for the Raspberry Pi. The recommended one for the Raspberry Pi is Noobs. You can actually buy a pre-install and you can get it from the website or you can buy it from Elements 14. Otherwise if you've got an SD card you'll be able to download it from this website. We're going to be using the most current version of Noobs that's come out this year and you've got a choice of either getting it through a torrent or downloading the zip file. What I would do is actually download the zip file. So in doing so, it's a fairly large download. It's actually around um, the 742 meg and it will be a zip file when it comes down. There are some other versions of operating systems here as well. As you go down, there's also Raspberry and a few others you can actually explore later. Each of these are a different um, shell for Linux and you'll be able to do different things with them. So once you've actually downloaded the zip file, we can then actually extract that zip file. So here is one I've downloaded before. You can actually see my copy of Noobs version 141, and I've extracted the zip file into a folder. This folder is very, very important because we need the whole contents of this folder here in the root directory of the SD card we formatted before. We can see Pi2 here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select all these by clicking one of the files and going Command A, selecting all. So if there's anything hidden or anything unseen, you'll be able to um, make sure that copies across. And then I'm just going to drop and drag that onto the Raspberry Pi 2 folder. And as you can see, it starts installing. You'll see that as an extracted file, it's 780 odd meg to be copied across. And this will take some time to do. So what I'll do now is just pause the video and I'll come back when it's just about finished. Once the copying is completed, we'll have an SD card ready to go into the Raspberry Pi. So I'll be ejecting it out of the Raspberry Pi and I'll be um, building the Raspberry Pi and connecting everything together. And that will be in another video and we'll be ready then to turn it on and ready to go. But we now have an SD card with an operating system ready to be installed.